Today, we're going to take a look at how much money I received in dividends and in option premiums for the month of November. Now, November was one of the best months for the stock market. It was incredible. This month brought me 12 payments for my stocks, including dividends and option premiums. My name is Bill Noguera, guys, and in this channel, I talk about stocks, real estate finance, and the economy. Without further ado, let's take a look. Now, the first stock we're going to take a look is Bank of America. Now, in this chart here, guys, we see the green bars is option premiums and orange bar will be dividends. Now, for the month of November, I received $20. I generated $20. On November 15, I sold a cover call on Bank of America. Uh, strike date on December 8th. 23 days to close. Received $17 uh, as a pre option premium. I closed this on the 22nd, just seven days later, I closed it for $7.68, 44% profit. Now, on November 29th, I also sold another cover column Bank of America, strike date December 22nd, 23 days to close, received $12.34, guys. That's still open, altogether brought me $20. Now, the next stock on the list is Carnival Cruise Line. Now, for Carnival Cruise Line, generated $54 in option premiums. The details are on November 16th, they sold a cover call on the strike date of December 8th, received $15. I closed this on November 21st. I closed it only five days later, generated 61% on this, closed it for 20, closed it for, four, closed it for $14, generated $22 in profit. On the same day that I closed, I immediately reopened another cover call. This time is on December 15, 24 days to close. The strike uh, price was $15, received $31 for this. Now with Carnival Cruise Line, guys, I am looking to exit this position. So option leaps for over a year, I am already in the money in this option leap. Now in order to close this, I can easily just buy it back or just sell another cover call, let it go in the money and let the leap option cover that cover call. That's what I'm going to do. Currently, Carnival Cruise Line is above my strike price, so I'm just going to be letting go this leap. If anything, I'll just sold another leap for the next year and continue to collect that cash flow, that premium through cover calls. Moving on, the next stock in line is ChargePoint, guys. ChargePoint is a big, big disappointment. ChargePoint has is, is, is just a, one of the big, big mistakes that I made. However, the good thing is that I didn't buy the now, I got options that expired in 2026, so therefore I'm selling a lot of options against those calls. So, so far, let's see the details, guys. I generated $44 in premiums in charge point. Those details are on the 16th of November. I sold the cover call, strike date, the uh, strike date, December 8th, 22 days to close, received $28, guys. I so I closed this on the 17th, one day after only generating 78% profit on this uh, cover call, close over $6 and pocket $21.89. Now on the 22nd of November, I sold another cover call, expiring again on the 8th, 16 days to close, uh, received $22 for this option. That's still open. Altogether bringing $44 for the month of November. Moving on guys, this next stock is Google. Now on Google, guys, on Google, I took some of the now I took the dividends from Jeppy and I pretty much started buying fractional shares of Google. I stated before, guys, I am not happy reinvesting dividends in Jeppy as I'm just not seeing the return, guys. So I am generating a very, very good yield on Jeppy. I'm talking about eight, nine percent. Therefore, I'm just going to keep the stocks for now, keep generating that yield. But once I generate that yield, I'm not going to be reinvesting it in Jeppy. So I started buying now Google and I'm going to buy also Microsoft. Now with Jeppy last dividend, I was able to acquire 0.42% of a Google stock at a price of $136. Now Google, I am very profitable in this. I am up $649. Now, next in line, guys, is Jeppy, our monthly dividend payer, guys. It was $39. I received this dividend on the 6th of November, and this is the dividend, the $39 that I took and I reinvested into Google, guys. As I stated before, I am not going to be reinvesting dividends into Jeppy. I just don't see it. Moving on, guys, next in line is Coca-Cola. On November 20th, I saw the cover call in Coca-Cola strike date on December 8th, 18 days to close, 
received seven dollars and 34 cents so far still open guys seven dollars 34 cents from coca-cola moving on now we're going to main another monthly dividend payer guys on main i receive a dividend on november 15th for 25 dollars and 34 cents I immediately reinvested these dividends and I was able to acquire 0.61% of a share at an average price of $41.06. Now, in Main Street Capital, guys, in this chart here, we see that the purple line represents the stock price. In the stock price alone, I am up $264. But if we add dividends, guys, I am up $755. Hence, moving on, guys, is realty income guys another new position of mine realty income i received 17 dollars and 92 cents so i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it but most likely what i'm going to do is also start buying google or start buying microsoft or any other stock however and so far what i'm going to do is maybe i'm going to wait until google have a pullback google's currently at 140 dollars. i'm going to wait maybe until it pull back to 130 or maybe if it's less than 130 even better and I'm going to start uh, buying Google. Now, average price on realty income is $48.80. I have 70 shares. Now, my price target for realty income is $50.86, guys. However, when we had the news that realty income was buying another real, real estate investment trust, the stock dropped to $46, guys. I was like, bam, this is my buying opportunity. And I bought 70 shares of Realty Income at this price. Now, currently, Realty Income is around $55. Therefore, I am profitable. In stock only, I am up already $462. If we add the dividend that we just received, I am up $480. I am up almost 10% in less than a month. The opportunity comes, guys. You got to be ready with money and be determined, guys. When the opportunity shows up, guys, go ahead and buy. Make a big purchase. Opportunities like this will not come often. Next, we have plug power now plug power on november 14th i sold another cover call strike price december 1st received 18 dollars and 68 cents guys i closed this on november 20th just six days after not 17 days closed it for 57 percent profit pocketing 10 dollars and 66 cents remember guys my rule guys if you're up in any trade more than 50 percent close it take your money and run <laughs> now on the 28th of november i sold another cover call strike price december 22nd 24 days to close received 28 dollars 68 cents for this call i'm still open bringing a total for the month of 39 dollars and 34 cents guys now in plug power in stock alone and the options i am down 528 dollars but if i add the options received i am actually up nine dollars therefore i am even breaking even not sure what i'm going to do in plug power is another position that i have that i have calls expiring in 2026 i keep selling cover calls against the call that i have expiring 2026 not sure what i'm going to do not sure if i'm going to hold on to it i can easily just take the money and deploy the money somewhere else so i'm thinking of just maybe letting next in line is rumble guys rumble so one cover call on the 28th strike price december 22 24 days to close, guys. Receives $24.68. It's still open. $24 for the month. I'm Rumble. I am down $411 in total. Okay. Moving on to Charles Schwab. Now, Charles Schwab on November 24 received a dividend of $5.04. I just have 20 shares. I invested this dividend and I was able to acquire 0.8% of a share. However, Charles Schwab is one of the things that you know, it is a good company, has some upside potential. However, the opportunity cost for me is just too much that I'm thinking of just selling Charles Schwab and just deploying the money somewhere else. If you have Charles Schwab, let me know. What are you going to Charles Schwab? Are you holding on to it? Or are you going to deploy the money somewhere else? Moving on, guys. Next in line is AT&T, guys. AT&T received a dividend on the first of $91, guys. I immediately redeployed, re reinvested this dividend, and I was able to acquire 5.86 shares, almost six shares at an average price of $15.62, guys. Now, if you look here, guys, on stock alone, I am down $159 in AT&T. If we add the dividends, I am actually up $123. But if we add also the options premium, guys, I am up $295. Therefore, I'm up 10% on AT&T, and AT&T still has a lot of upside to come. I'm holding on to AT&T. 
I'm going to keep reinvesting dividends in AT&T, maybe until AT&T hit the price of maybe $17 and a half, maybe $18. If it hit those prices, I will stop reinvesting dividends in AT&T and I will take that money and deploy it and buy something else. Last, guys, we have XLK, guys. XLK is a technology sector ETF, guys. Now, I sold the cover call on the 1st. The 24th received $104, guys, making my income for that month of $104. Now, in this ETF, I am up the stock alone $801, 843 if we add dividends, and if we add uh, option premiums, I am up $1,112. But is that all this is all the 12 payments I received in the month of November. Now, coming over here, guys, we see the total dividend and total options for the past two years, guys. In 2022, generated $5,199. The green bars are option premiums that I received, and the orange bar are the dividends, guys. Now, here in 2023 so far, guys, I have 3980 The green bars, once again, the option premiums and the dividends in orange, guys. Now, I wanted it to break $10,000. It doesn't look like I'll be able now. We are in the last month of December. Let's see if somehow I'm going to generate a total of $10,000 in two years. Now, my question to you guys is, how much money did you receive in income, in dividends, and in options if you're also selling option premium, guys? Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Dylan Nogueira. Once again, it means a lot, guys. If you like the video, subscribe and share this video, guys. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye-bye.